so today what we will do is we will try to complete one of the sql certification and we will go through the platform and see how we can complete the certification in hacker rank so the first certification which is the sql basic skill certification we will try to complete so now we will click on the take hacker rank skill certificate test so it will ask us basic questions proceed continue okay now let us take the test so here we can either go directly to the test or we can try some sample test so we can directly go to the test continue so in it consists of two questions and the total duration would be 30 minutes so section one continue so agree to the conditions and start the first question is student analysis and the second question is profitable stock either we can complete the first question first and we can come to the second one or we can take the second one first and go to the first question later whichever is fine so the order does not matter so we'll try to solve the first question first solve it so this is the ide where we can solve the question so from the language section we can choose the dialect which we have learned so here i'm going to choose ms sql server so here is where we are going to write the sql query now let us go through the question so the question is a school recently conducted its annual examination and wishes to know the list of academically low performing students to organize extra class for them write a query to return the roll number and name of students who have a total of less than 100 mark including all subject so this is the question there are two tables student information table and the examination marks table their primary key are roll numbers now here we can see the schema of the two table so the first table is student information consists of roll number column and name column and the type is also given here and the description roll number of student this is the primary key and name the name of the student our second table will be examination marks table it consists of four column the first column is roll number second column will be subject one third column will be subject two and fourth column will be subject three and roll number will be the primary key and roll number of each student subject one mark of student for the first subject subject two mark of student for the second subject and subject three mark of student for the third subject now here we have the sample data also now we have the sample output as well and the explanation is also given here so before going through the explanation let us try to solve the question so the question is write a query to return the roll number and name of student who have a total less than 100 mark including all three subject so here we have to actually add the subject one column with subject two column and subject three column so first we will do that select roll number comma and the second column will be subject underscore one plus subject underscore two plus subject underscore three so we will add the three columns and we will get the output for the same that is total underscore marks and this is taken from the table examination marks underscore marks so this we will consider as a cte we will place the entire query inside a CTE query which is T1. Now we need to get the records for which only the total mark will be less than 100. So we will write a select loss. Select star from T1 where total underscore marks less than 100. And in the question there is one more condition given that is we have to return the roll number and name of student we don't want to return the mark of that particular student with respect to the three subject but instead we have to return the roll number and the name of that particular student so we will write a join condition here let's join with the student information table student underscore information and give an alias name as s and we will write the join condition on t1 dot roll number equal s dot roll number now we have completed writing our query before running the query we require only the roll number and name so we will write that as well that is t1 dot roll number comma s dot name also let us go through the question to see if there is a particular order which is mentioned so we can write the order by close also in the query so there is no particular condition mentioned for the order by close so we have completed writing our query so let us run this query and see what is the output we are getting run query and it will test the query for multiple test cases and we have the correct answer compiled and we can submit the query so we have completed the first question now moving on to the second question so the second question is profitable stock 
a stock is considered profitable if the predicted price is strictly greater than the current price now we have to write a query to find the stock code of all stocks which are profitable based on the definition sort the output in ascending order so here we have the schema there are two table price underscore today price underscore tomorrow so both the tables are having same columns the stock code and price and which are of same data types and going down we have the sample data the first table which is the price today and the second table which is price tomorrow now we have to write a query to find the stock code of all stock which are profitable based on the definition so the definition is stock is considered profitable if the predicted price is strictly greater than the current price so tomorrow's price should be greater than today's price so that is the condition so for that we will write a join condition here select from price underscore tomorrow let us give an alias name as t1 and i am going to do an inner join here inner join so the second table will be price underscore today and t2 and the join will be based on stock code that is t1 dot stock underscore code equal t2 dot stock underscore code now we need to take only one of the stock code from either of the table so we will take the stock code from the first table which is the price tomorrow table t1 dot stock underscore code and let us go to the question and see there is one particular ascending order specified so sort the order sorry sort the output in ascending order and order by t1 dot stock underscore code in ascending order now there is one more condition that we have to specify that is price tomorrow should be greater than price today so here we will write a where clause where t1 dot price should be greater than t2 dot price now execute this query run query and let us see what is the output we are getting so we have the correct answer now we can submit the result submit it now we have solved the two questions which were available in the sql challenge we can now submit the rest submit it yes close this test now test is submitted successfully and both of our answer were correct so now it is evaluating our result and within some time the result will be published and we can see our sql certificate so this is how we can complete sql certification in hacker rank and in the same way we can complete the sql intermediate certification and the sql advanced certification in hacker rank the method is similar and the id is also similar the only difference is that the level of question will be different for intermediate and advanced and if you have any doubt solving intermediate or advanced question you can always connect with me through the comment section or you can always mail me my mail is given in the description thanks for watching and if you like this video subscribe for more such content thank you